To begin our Tantra practice, we will meet in Sukhasana, easy pose. Please bring blocks if you have them. For today's practice, we are going to focus on Chaturangas, which is the yoga push-up that is in the sun salutation. We will do five with blocks and five without to help build strength and endurance throughout the body. Let's start by warming up the muscles around the neck. Release your neck forward to your chest, relaxing the muscles around the back of your neck. Deeply breathe into any tight spots. Then, slowly roll your head to the right side, allowing the right ear to drop over the shoulder. Relax the shoulders down the back. Breathe here. To deepen the stretch, take the right arm across the head and gently encourage your head to move a little closer to your shoulder. Release your hand and roll your neck to the back and then back to center. Slowly roll your left ear to your left shoulder relaxing the shoulders and the jaw. Option to place your left hand gently on the side of your head to increase the stretch. Breathe in and breathe out. Release the arm and release the neck back to neutral. Now, take some slow neck rolls to one side and then the other. On an inhale, come into tabletop or all fours. Then exhale into balasana, child's pose. Open your knees wide, bring your big toes to touch, bend your knees. Bring your hips towards your heels. Send your tailbone back and lengthen your spine. Reach your arms forward on the mat and spread your fingers wide. Rest your forehead on the mat. Begin to breathe in and out of your nose using ujjayi breath constricting the back of the throat so your breath sounds like an ocean wave. Inhale and come into tabletop or all fours. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. Stack your hips over your knees. Keep a long spine and gaze to the mat. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale and reach your right arm high to the sky. Then sweep it under your left arm like you're threading a needle. Exhale. Sit back on your hips for a gentle stretch for the outer right shoulder. Reach your left arm to the front of the mat and breathe here. Inhale and lift your right arm to the sky for a counter stretch. Then place it on the mat. Exhale. Inhale and reach your left arm high to the sky. Then sweep it under your right arm, threading the needle on the opposite side. 
exhale. Sit back on your hips for a gentle stretch on the outer left shoulder. Reach your right arm to the front of the mat. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale and lift your left arm to the sky for a counter stretch. Then place it on the mat. Exhale. Inhale and create a cat with your spine, pulling your abdominal muscles in and rounding the back. Then drop the belly and arch your lower spine for cow. Exhale. Inhale, round the cat, round the spine like a cat. Then release the belly and contract the lower spine for cow. Exhale. Find some organic movements here between cat and cow. You may roll your ribs like you're scraping out a jar to one side then to the other side. Breathing in and breathing out with each movement. Make sure to repeat your movements to both sides. Then come to neutral. Gently come all the way down to your belly and tee out your arms to the sides. Inhale, place your right palm next to your shoulder, then gently roll over onto the left, giving the stretch to the inside of your left shoulder. Use your right leg as a kickstand behind your left leg to support and gently twist and open the shoulder. Take two to three rounds of breath. On an exhale, come back to neutral with arms teed out. Now inhale, Place your left palm next to your shoulder and gently roll over to the right side, giving a stretch to the inside of your right shoulder. Use the left leg as a kickstand behind your right leg to gently support the twist and opening for the shoulder. Breathe here. Now release and press up into tabletop. Place your blocks underneath each hand. Then inhale, tuck the toes and press through straight arms with the knees bent for reverse chair. Then straighten the knees so there's just a small bend. Exhale. Send your hips back and up for Adho Mukha Savasana, Downward Facing Dog. Engage your abdominals and pull your front ribs in. Place your hands shoulder width distance. Spread your fingers wide and press your thumb and forefinger into the block or mat, keeping your neck neutral, gazing back. Slowly and gently lift one heel and then the other breathing and warming up the backs of the legs. In Tantra Yoga, we use Bandha, which is a slight contraction of your lower abdominals during the asanas. 
Practice now and feel the difference. We will keep Mula Bandha throughout the practice. We will also hold the breath after inhaling as we move into the next posture, which is called Kumbhaka. I will cue during practice. Inhale and roll forward into Plankasana, high plank. Stack shoulders over the wrists. Bring your shoulder blades together and down your back. Engage your abdominals. Engage your legs. Face the eyes of the elbows towards the front. Then slowly lower into Chaturanga, low plank. Exhale. Keep your hips in line with your heels and shoulders. Inhale. Open and pull your chest forward into upward facing dog. Bring the tops of your feet to the mat. Then hold the breath, Kumbhaka. Flip the toes and straighten your arms. Bend the knees, coming through reverse chair. Then press into downward facing dog. Exhale. Take five breaths here. This is one Chaturanga. We will do it four more times with the blocks and five without. Option to come to your knees as you are building strength in the practice. Inhale and roll forward into Plankasana. Stack the shoulders over the wrists. Engage your abdominals. Face the eyes of your elbows toward the front and slowly lower into Chaturanga. Low plank. Exhale. Inhale, pull your chest forward into Upward Facing Dog. Hold the breath, Kumbhaka. Flip the toes and bend the knees. Reverse Chair. And press into Downward Facing Dog. Straightening the knees. Exhale. Take five breaths. On an inhale, come into Plekasana. Engage the abdominals. Slowly lower into Chaturanga. Low plank. Exhale. Inhale. Pull your chest forward. Urdhva Mukha Savasana. Upward facing dog. Hold the breath. Kumbhaka. Reverse chair. Then press into downward facing dog. Exhale. Take your five breaths. Inhale, come into Plankasana. Engage the abdominals. Slowly lower. Chaturanga, low plank, exhale. Inhale, pull your chest forward, Urdhva Mukha Savasana, upward facing dog. Hold the breath, Kumbhaka, reverse chair, and downward facing dog. Exhale, five breaths here, one more with blocks. Inhale, Plankasana. Engage the abdominals. Slowly lower, Chaturanga, low plank. Exhale. Inhale, pull your chest forward, Urdhva Mukha Savasana. Hold the breath, Kumbhaka. Reverse chair, and Adha Mukha Savasana. 
Downward Facing Dog. Exhale. Take five breaths here. Now, remove the blocks and release into Balasana, Child's Pose, to rest for a minute. As we prepare for the second set, you should feel more strength. Meet me in Downward Facing Dog. Inhale and roll forward into Plankasana, High Plank. Stack shoulders over the wrists. Bring shoulder blades down your back. Engage your abdominals. Engage your legs. Face the eyes of your elbows towards the front and slowly lower into chaturanga. Low plank, exhale. Keep your hips in line with your heels and shoulders. Inhale, open and pull your chest forward into upward facing dog. Bring tops of the feet to the mat. Hold the breath, kumbhaka. Flip the toes and straighten your arms. Bend the knees, coming through reverse chair. The press into downward facing dog. Exhale. Take five breaths here. Inhale and roll forward into Plankasana. Stack the shoulders over the wrists. Engage your abdominals. Face the eyes of your elbows towards the front and slowly lower into Chaturanga, low plank. Exhale. Inhale, pull your chest forward into Upward Facing Dog. Hold the breath, Kumbhaka. Flip the toes and bend the knees, reverse chair. Then press into Downward Facing Dog. Exhale. Take five breaths. On an inhale, come into Plankasana. Engage the abdominals. Slowly lower into Chaturanga, low plank. Exhale. Inhale, pull your chest forward. Urdhva Mukha Savasana, upward facing dog. Hold the breath. Kumbhaka. Reverse chair. Then press into downward facing dog. Exhale. Take your five breaths. Inhale, come into Plankasana. Engage the abdominals. Slowly lower, Chaturanga, low plank. Exhale. Inhale, pull your chest forward, Urdhva Mukha Savasana, upward facing dog. Hold the breath, Kumbhaka. Reverse chair. 
and downward facing dog. Exhale, five breaths here. Just one more. Great job, everyone. Inhale, Plankasana. Engage the abdominals. Slowly lower, Chaturanga, low plank. Exhale. Inhale, pull your chest forward, Urdhva Mukha Savasana. Hold the breath, Kumbhaka. Reverse chair, Adha Mukha Savasana, downward facing dog. Exhale, great work. Take five rounds of breath here. Now release into restorative child's pose. Open your knees wide with option to stack your palms Elbows wide and rest your forehead on the back of your hands. Release Mula Bandha. Relax and incorporate. You did it. Now inhale and bring your feet to the front in a seated position. Then one vertebrae at a time, roll down onto your back. Here we will do a simple inversion, waterfall. Lift your legs up to a 90 degree angle and flex your feet. Place your arms next to your sides, palms facing down. Lengthen your spine. Take three to four rounds of breath, allowing fresh blood to circulate into your legs and hips. Bend your knees and place your feet on the mat hip width distance apart. Press through all four corners of your feet. Stack your knees over your ankles, keep your neck long and gaze to the ceiling. Inhale and lift your hips up. Lift your chest. Draw your tailbone forward and draw your shoulders together and down your back. Press your arms down and gaze up. Sarubandha Sarvangasana, bridge pose. Option to interlace your fingers under your hips. Take three to four rounds of breath. Then release the hands. Slowly lower down one vertebrae at a time. On an inhale, using your hands, press up into a seated position. Extend your legs long with a slight bend of your knees. Flex your feet. Draw your belly into your spine. Sit tall and hinge forward at your hips. Draw your tailbone back. Lift your chest and lengthen the spine. Reach your hands towards your feet and begin to straighten your legs. Paschimottanasana. Seated forward fold, exhale. Lengthen the back of your neck and gaze out. Draw your shoulder blades down your back and take three to four rounds of breath.
and release. Inhale, lift your chest up. Then roll down onto your back. Exhale. Open your knees and grab the inner arches of your feet. Gently pull your knees down. Press your feet straight up. Lengthen your spine and draw your hips down. Bend your elbows and press your shoulders into the earth. Gently press the back of the head down and gaze up. Ananda Balasana. Happy baby pose. Take three to four rounds of breath here. Breathe in, breathe out. Release your feet to the mat. Open your knees wide so your legs are in a diamond position. Bring the soles of your feet together. Lengthen the spine and release the abdominals. Draw your shoulder blades down your back. Rest your arms on the mat with palms facing up for Supta Baddha Konasana, recline bound angle pose. Release the muscles of your face and neck. Option to close your eyes. Breathe. You may take your savasana here or extend your legs long. Roll your feet out and rest your arms on the mat with palms facing up. Relax your entire body. Close your eyes and return to your natural breath. Clear your mind and allow this time for your body to incorporate the practice. I will guide you out of the posture in two minutes. Begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Gently roll into a fetus position on your favorite side. Resting your head on your arm. Using your arms, press up into Sakasana. Cross your legs and bring your hands to the heart center in prayer position. Thank you very much for practicing with me today. We will do three ohms to end practice. Bring your hands to the third eye and bow forward. The light within me sees the light within each of you. Namaste. Please subscribe to my channel for more Tantra and Tarot. Have a blessed and beautiful day.